What I love about the show is it like accesses a whole other spectrum of people, like all these cosplayers, or whatever, right? Or the video game nerds. Is they wouldn't come see the Phantom of the Opera, but they'll come see Legend Has It, and it's great. Oh, it's so great. Uh, Rebecca Northern has essentially invented a brand new type of theater. She calls it spontaneous theater. I call it immersive improvisation. But this is something you don't see anywhere else in the world, and nobody is as good at it as Rebecca Northern. It was great to see them up there and cheer for them. Uh, yes, the first time coming to a theater in costume, absolutely. It was a whole new story and it was wonderful. I'm going to see it again for sure. It's totally different every night. And I really encourage people to watch it as many times. Now, I will tell you, there's a twist in it. There's a choice that the hero has to make very early on. I would recommend this show to people. I think they should go see it. It's a lot of fun. And I've never seen a hero make the other choice. So one day I want to see the hero make the other choice and see where the play goes. I mean, the whole the whole joy of this, of the spontaneous theater, is watching the risk. Like, it's all the risk. Is are they going to mess up, right? And in, in a show like this, it's like great if they mess up, right? Because then it's, you, you watch how everybody deals with it. You know, the best thing about this show is that it's fun and it's light and it's frothy. But the thing that Rebecca does so well is she gets the people who are on stage with her, the amateurs, to really exhibit deeper truths that expose themselves. And there's some really, really touching points in this show as well. Uh, the deep truths, I think that was one of the, that was the best part.